Come here and sheath my shaft. It's oiled. All right, guys, so we're in the shop. Jesse, sure as you guys know, has- The shirt's kind of holding it. He's been working a lot, he got a hole in his shirt. But Jesse and Dylan have come down to help us out and to really bring us some parts and highlight some parts that they put on their builds or, and or you can buy off of their website, just like I did. A lot of guys are building what you're building, which is not necessarily like a hardcore autocross truck, but they want a more sporty driving right. street truck. So some of the things to consider when taking out the sloppy feel in the truck is inner frame stiffeners or boxing the frame or doing our billet cab mounts. Um, and then when you kind of move through the suspension and get all the way up to the steering wheel, the ratio of the steering box plays a really big role in, in how the truck feels yeah. to drive yep. you know so you drove a bunch of old trucks you know a lot of them turning away from a stop sign is this oh yeah and then back the, you you turning it back yeah. so all the factory truck boxes were variable ratio um, what we sell is a Borgeson steering box that is a quick ratio for c10 pickup trucks these are a direct bolt-on for 60 Eight or 69 yep. up to 87. Very cool. Yep, you can get these for the 60 to 66 truck or 60 to 67, 67 truck. Yeah, because that was what they had a different frame yeah, for yep. the power steering. Yep, you just have to buy this box from me and then there's also like an adapter yep. plate that I'd have to sell you to. But on your truck, we're using their quick ratio box. So this is a fixed ratio 12.7 to one steering. Very so cool. So this is a, a more sporty like car steering feel. Very cool. Um, We've probably sold 40 or 50 of these boxes over the past few years. None have been returned. No complaints Complaint. ever. Um, these are a good steering box that it's a good price point as well. Without having to go rack and pinion. Yeah, absolutely. And something a little more sporty feel, like you said, yeah. which is yeah. really the draw for me. Like I have the 68, the original 68 power steering box in Teddy. And aside from all the other things you mentioned, it also takes me a football field to turn the truck around. You know, huh. like if I'm even just turning into a parking spot in a tight, you know, in a tight lane, yeah. I'm backing the truck up three times just to get it in there. Sure. The cool thing about getting, getting this box is that you don't have to redo any of the steering geometry. You still have factory good steering geometry yep. you don't mess up bump steer or get weird uh, steering geometry but you do get the sportier feel yeah, from the benefits the, of yeah, the quicker from, ratio. from the ratio change yep. we feel a lot of phone calls about guys saying hey I wanted better steering so I went out and I found this steering rack kit but it is horrible almost <laughs> undrivable yeah. and the problem is is that the steering geometry is incorrect yeah um there, even though the you're, racks using, are too you're wide. headed the right direction you're just the thought process yeah, was yeah. correct yep. you you wanted better steering you want to support your steering but a lot of those um, steering racks are just too wide for the factory for the factory suspension and it, it messes up the geometry yeah. so a lot of those guys are taking those back off and just putting this back on. Really? No kidding. Yeah, absolutely. So the only thing that you need when you when you buy this, if you do like a motor swap or an LS swap, mm -hmm. we sell this with AN fittings. I got those for Robbie. <laughs> forgot to I bring forgot them. forgot to bring them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you know, on our website, you can click this box and then click that you do want the AN adapter fitting so yep. you can make your own hoses. Which we definitely um, do. Yep, and then another upgrade to remove some of that slop. Like if you did a new column and you did this new box. And we are doing a new column, a two inch shorter column. Scott Stivers makes us down in Florida. That column should complement exactly what mm -hmm. you've got here. And the reason is because you checked and asked me to check yeah. the sizing of the output. Yeah, so just moving up the line uh, towards your hands. Um, the next thing is that I like to remove the steering rag joint. The rag joint is just one other piece that has flex in it. Um, it, you know, it's it's made to take vibration out of your hands. Yeah. But honestly, like the stock columns, if you have a good column, there's no vibration. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's totally fine. So I like to eliminate any play that I can in this in in my steering field. Sure. So we sell on our website an intermediate, a collapsible intermediate steering shaft kit, and these can be used with a steering box or a steering rack. Oh, um, so I could even take this and upgrade to a rack and pinion later if I wanted to. Yeah, okay. yeah, and these are plenty long. So uh, 
uh, these are actually really long and these are collapsible um, so they're safe. What we do is when we install these, you know, we kind of pull them all the way out and then tap them in just a little bit so that if there is a severe head on collision or something, that it will do its job. Yeah, you've got a few inches of compression before it starts to mess up the steering column or sure. move the steering column. Uh, but the only thing to know when you, when you order this is that there are different outputs on different steering columns. Um, right. Like some of the earlier steering columns were 36 blind, three quarters 36 blind. Um, your steering column was a one inch double D, yeah, double which D. is what this one is here. And then there's a one inch 40, Eight. 48 spline. 48. Yep. So there was three possible outputs that the column could have been. So you, you would just have to take your shaft off your column and just look and, yeah. and see what it is. And there's drop downs on the website to click the one that you need. Perfect. In our case, we just asked Scott what he was building for us and matched that up. So, yep. Yep. so we'll be good. Yep. And just to head off one question that I get a lot is that these are raw steel. So you do have to spray paint these. So you'll need to paint some things. Yeah. So you just have to spray paint these. But honestly, the price point is, is so much lower than what they would be stainless. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm totally fine with just uh, scotch bright and cleaning and spray painting this stuff. And that fits with the underhood of our truck anyway yeah. in this, this incident. So yeah, we'll just paint them up. Yep. So anyways, this is a, a very simple, moderately priced, huge steering improvement. This is a whole package. It's yeah. pretty simple. Very cool. Cue the music.